and you can just see it's a, it's a complete eyesore with all that graffiti. I mean, the building is riddled in asbestos as well. But, and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, we're gonna have a bit of a look around town and also the courthouse. Um, the old courts are gonna be pulled down very, very soon because there's some problem with the new courthouse. So it's gonna cost 40 million pound for the new courthouse to be built which is just on Devonshire Road, Talbot Road, on that little patch there. And uh, yeah, there's been a delay um, in that. So I'll tell you the reason a little bit further in the video. So yeah, come and join me on this uh, bit of a walk around. going to start the, uh, the video off just near the, uh, the North Pier and uh, the, uh, the Wedding Chapel just a little bit further. Um, we're going to have a, a bit of a walk around towards the, uh, the courthouse but uh, it's just stopped raining. It's been absolutely pouring it down um, for the last three hours. You can see on the, uh, the pavements they're completely soaked and I think we've just managed to uh, come out at the right time but I've got the uh, I've got the brolly. There we go. Um, just in case it chucks it down again. You can see the uh, look at that. It's fantastic. I love coming out when it's raining and uh, at night. You see all the uh, magnificent lights and they reflect so well on the ground. So you see uh, that's North Pier. And, uh, another great little amusements. Steering the camera round to the left, you can see the, uh, the Blackpool Tower. It's lit up in like a green tonight. So that's a, a fantastic one. So yeah, so we're just gonna keep going all along the promenade and we'll uh, branch off when we get near the, uh, near the courthouse. And that's the, uh, the Turtle Bay. So the previous video we did was discussing because the, uh, another part, I think it's like the downstairs, that's uh, possibly becoming a Starbucks. So if you haven't seen that video, uh, go and have a look. But yeah, looks like the old uh, Foxhalls Hotel is uh, possibly getting the, uh, the Starbucks. You see uh, Shanigans just to the, uh, the left-hand side. And that's always a, I know the good, we've got Yates as well. And the, the Revolution, uh, that, is, uh, that went in August. But uh, I think sometime in October, I think it's towards the end of October, the new Coyote Ugly Saloon, uh, which is directly um, in front is going to be opening and they've already got the uh, the sign up I mean, you see one of the stars is uh, just flickering and that's a brand new sign so it looks like they'll probably have to uh, have a look at that one you see uh, yeah, directly from one of the signs of the stars is uh, already flickering away see the, uh, the tower it's lit up in that wonderful like blue tonight that looks uh, that looks amazing so yeah as we uh, we head um, past the or towards the comedy carpet we'll be going past there going past the uh, the odyssey that's another great one when it's all lit up and uh, first of all I think we're just gonna branch off near the sea because uh, the video is not a video without having a look at the uh, the seaside you see someone's got a camera there what's he gonna capture is he maybe the strike of lightning on the tower perhaps and directly in front is the uh, the north pier you see it's all lit up you can see the other uh, sky is uh, very very gray and murky however there's still a few people uh, on the beach let's just pan the camera around to the left a little more and you can see the uh, the odd the odd person just on the beach and look at that the clouds there's a white breaking through that dark blue that's uh that's a really nice shot just there so uh, just looking back at the tower you see now it's all lit up in that lovely sort of pinkish purple color uh, and it's extraordinary how the the sequence of lights in the tower changes it's uh like i say it's uh, very very remarkable so just approaching the, the comedy carpet 
and he's very, very quiet on the comedy carpet tonight. But you can still see the uh, the Blackpool sign is all like, lit up. And I'm sure a lot of people uh, will come in the evening. They always grab the, the pictures near the uh, the lights. And uh, it's fantastic because they've got a little projector uh, in that little room behind the lights. And that's all projects onto the, the tower so you get little storylines and all sorts of things it's amazing and um, we'll see if we can capture that later on we see the uh, the blackpool sign uh, all lit up there and like i said it's a fantastic attraction for everybody taking their their pictures and whether you can see that but you can see on the uh, the blackpool tower you can see where it's projected where it says the blackpool tower just above you can see Blackpool Illuminations Tower, and like I said, on there, uh, in another hour or so, like I said, they'll have mini clips and little mini films projected on the tower there. So we're just going to head uh, past the, uh, the police station and towards the courthouse. And I'll tell you the reason, uh, like I said, when we get to the courthouse for this video, because it's all been delayed, the, uh, the project. Uh, but I'll, I will reveal a little bit more as we uh, as we get near. But you see, we're just near the uh, the Golden Mile, uh, the arcades, um, and like I say, it's all stretched. It's amazing the the illuminations. Look at just the colours. It's fantastic. But yeah, I'm not going to ramble on too much. So we'll uh, rejoin me in a few seconds when we uh, we hit the police station and the courthouse. So we're just going on the going to have a, a bit of a walk past the uh, the police station and uh, the, uh, the courthouse, you see the police station just in the distance and that's due to be uh, demolished very, very soon. So uh, keep an eye out for the dates on that one. And yeah, the, the courthouse, uh, the brakes have been put on um, the whole project. Like I said, it was gonna be built um, just on the um, Devonshire Road, Talbot Road. And the whole brakes have been put on because um, the, the contract, um, the main contract on the development has fell into a financial difficulty. So uh, it's all been completely put on hold. Now it's gonna cost 40 million pound for the, uh, for the new courthouse. Um, so the construction giant, ISG, they're called, um, went into administration in September, which was last month. So it uh, looks like they're gonna to have to uh, find somebody else um, like I said, that's the, uh, the police station, which is due for be, uh, to be demolished. But yeah, it looks like they're going to have to find somebody else um, to, uh, to obviously complete the project. And you can just see it's a, it's a complete eyesore with all that graffiti. I mean, the building is riddled in asbestos as well. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, I mean, the, the project was supposed to be going ahead um, early next year. Um, and expected to be completed by 2026. So it looks like that is not going to happen. So we're just gonna have a look at the, uh, the courthouse, uh, which is uh, about sort of 100 feet just on the left hand side. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's amazing how, you know, such a big company um, can go into administration. And it's believed, you know, sort of 2,200 jobs are possibly at risk now um, because of that. Um, which is uh, it's never good. And uh, yeah, apparently uh, there's meetings going on um, in regards to the uh, demolition, who should undertake it for the, uh, for the courthouse and the police station. That's still ongoing um, to this day. So it's, uh, like I said, they're trying to find a, a suitable contract um, for that one. And uh, the ICG, um, who was gonna uh, Obviously, start the new courthouse. Uh, apparently, there was holding um, over one billion pounds worth of government contracts. Uh, you know, that's uh, that's incredible. One billion pound worth of government contracts, and this is the uh, the old courthouse, uh, which is due to uh, to go. So yeah, this is the uh, the old courthouse. You can see, lights are still on uh, in the building. Like I say, this is uh, very soon to uh, to go. You see uh, Blackpool Towers and that sort of streaking uh, green and red, uh, which is uh, which looks magnificent. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to head back towards the promenade 
um, just see if any of the lights are on, see what's, uh, see what's occurring on the promenade. But yeah, I thought I'd bring this one to you and let me know in the comments what you think um, of this one. Like I said, the, uh, the relocation of the building has been on the cards for several years and it was supposed to pave the way for a 300 million Blackpool Central Leisure Scheme. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's incredible. Huge, huge sums of money. So we're just at Happy Days Amusement and the reason I've just stopped here temporarily is because uh, the closed at the moment is a little place and we did a bit of a review on that. So we'd never normally do reviews on the, on this channel. But there's a little place there. And it's called Bubble Tea. Which is uh, it's just there. And uh, they've asked us again, so they've approached us again, just to see if we can do a review on the, uh, the chicken. Because it's something totally unique to Blackpool. It's not just normal chicken, it's totally unique. Uh, so we accepted the offer um, and that video will be coming probably next week to do a bit of a review on that one. And you see the, uh, the Odyssey is all lit up. And uh, just a little bit more information. Um, there was uh, plans to uh, restore the, uh, the windmill. The historic little, it's, it's on Little Morton. Um, to restore that, but after um, sort of more uh, sort of delving into it, apparently the, uh, the, the actual propellers are all rotten. Um, there was removed in 2023, the sails, because um, it was damaged in the, uh, the high winds. Uh, and it is actually a grade two listed building, which is owned by the council to work. Hopefully we'll commence on that one. So a bit more information on the, uh, the windmill. Yeah, this is the uh, the Odyssey. You see, fantastic! Look how it's all colourful. You see the uh, on the floor. I got all the uh, all the little lights, and it's a uh, it's an amazing that one. You see the tower as well, just in between, all lit up. How lovely does that one look? So, just gone past the uh, the Odyssey, just walking a bit more towards uh, the uh, the north side. You see all the uh, lights lit up, which look uh, look amazing. You see the tower, like I said, the sequences, it's amazing. You know, they don't sort of stay the same. They sort of, uh, the different things, the different colors, the patterns, it's, uh, it's really nice. So it is, what time is it? It's about 10 past six um, in the evening, late afternoon, evening. And uh, like I say, it's, it's fantastic coming out at night. Like I say, just seeing all the colours, the lights, and uh, it's uh, you know, especially when it's even when it's raining. It's uh, like I say, it's sort of therapeutic and relaxing. To be fair. So we just come up to the uh, the spindles, as I call them, and uh, you can see, you know, how busy um, it is. You know, like I said, it's a uh, it's sort of a Tuesday afternoon, uh, you know, everyone's at work, it's not sort of a holiday or anything like that. You can still see people coming the drones just to uh, get that picture, that snapshot, and uh, you know, sort of capture that magical moment. And they are fantastic uh, when they're all lit up. I see, you see, you see a lot of people, uh, you know, it's obviously hundreds of thousands, you know, don't get me wrong, but. You know, it's, uh, it's a lot of people grabbing that, that little snapshot, that picture, and treasuring the memory. It's, nice. it's really nice, and the, uh, the sort of tower just complements the, uh, the spindles and the lights from the, uh, the arcades. It's, uh, it's really nice. Move the, uh, the camera up a little. There we go. And uh, how lovely uh, does that one look? Like I say, just sort of complements it with the uh, the tower. So 
So as we approach the uh, the comedy carpet from the uh, the opposite side, you see that little uh, uh, ice cream cone, shall I say? It's all spinning round. Another grey one. Everyone takes the uh, the snapshots with that one. That's now turned on, and uh, it's only a matter of time before they start projecting onto the tower. Like I said, those little films, and uh, that's uh, that's another great one. Yeah. So this is all now lit up with the. Uh, the little donkeys, and that's a that's a new attraction. It looks uh, looks fantastic. Look at that, really nice one. And like I say, it just spins around. You see, if I sort of stand still a little bit. See, it just spinning round. So there we go. It's just uh, appeared on the Blackpool Tower, and uh, how lovely does that look? See all the is that sooty and sweet looks like. There we go, and you see it's all projected, which is amazing. And like I said, this goes on, you know, for several hours. And uh, like I said, that looks uh, really great. How spectacular is that? Yeah, I'd stay for you know half an hour. So I'm gonna watch this because it's uh, it's quite incredible how they do it. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll move on. Maybe uh, maybe come back and visit this one a bit later on. So I think we're gonna come to a bit of a close um, on the video for tonight. Um, but yeah, it's just a, a bit of an update on the courts, really. Uh, the bit of a walk around was, uh, like I said, a bit of a bonus. But yeah, what do you think of the uh, the courts being delayed? That huge contractor going into administration, all those jobs possibly are gonna go. So uh, be interested to see what happens. And uh, with the uh, the demolition, again, we always try to keep everyone up to date with the date for that one. Uh, but like I said, at the moment, it's. Uh, they surround the table with uh, discussions. So yeah, until next time, take care of yourselves. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, you do like the, uh, the content, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, night night.